آپ کو براہ راست لے چلیں گے اسلام آباد جہاں پر پاکستان چائنا وزٹ انویسٹمنٹ فورم کی تقریب جاری وزیر اعظم شہباز شریف تقریب سے خطاب کر رہے ہیں ممبرز آف پاکستان چائنا بزنس فورم گورنمنٹ آفیشلس لیڈن جنٹلمن السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ آفٹر نون اٹ از ویری great pleasure to be here today to attend this first meeting of Pakistan China Business Investment Forum and uh, I would like to <coughs> congratulate Minister Asim Iqbal and Minister Salih Hussain and Ambassador Nongren for providing all kind of help and support to arrange this conference and I hope this forum will be very proactive in building business relations between the two very friendly and brotherly countries, Pakistan and China. Tomorrow, inshallah, we are leaving for our visit to our great friend China and we look forward to meeting Chinese leadership and have very productive and fruitful discussions with very visionary president Xi Jinping and Premier Li and other Chinese authorities to promote and further enhance our business, our uh, strategic and our cultural relations with the two countries. I feel and strongly believe that CPAC has been a game changer in building our business relation between the two countries. And so far, billions of dollars of investment under CPAC has already been committed by Chinese companies and as a result of that Pakistan was able to escape massive load shedding during those years and our industry and agriculture was able to come back into life because 20 hours power outages at that point in time had crippled our economy. So CPAC has been the game changer and now is the time to build our B2B business relations. This will not only further augment CPAC's dividends, but it will expand business relations between Pakistan and China. And there is huge potential what uh, Honorable Minister Azmi Gubar and Chaudhry Salih Hussain and Ambassador Nongrong is just I have just said, I will not repeat that. But it is very important to understand with China being the second largest economy in the world and now one of the largest investors in Pakistan, here is an opportunity that we can really advance our exports to China, imports from China, 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेबर इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्री एंड लेबर इज नाउ वेरी एक्सपेंसिव इन चाइना नाव एंड चाइना इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स मोर सोफिस्टिकेटेड हाई टेक इंडस्ट्री नाउ डेट लेबर इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्री विच इज बीन स्टेब्लिश इन चाइना इफ दैट इज रीलोकेटेड इन पाकिस्तान by establishing special economic zones and providing special incentives this will mean that pakistan with its still comparatively cheaper labor can make uh, production of items which can be then re-exported to china and other countries in the region and other parts of the world now this will be a win win situation for chinese business uh, houses and pakistani business houses and in agriculture we can really cooperate in a big way chinese modern technology and technique in agriculture to increase your per acre yield will be very helpful for pakistani agri industry and then based on our agri, agri production in the in the uh, rural areas of pakistan we can install agro based industrial houses and through that agri production we can convert those items into industrial items and then export to middle east and other parts of the world so there are huge options i think sky is the limit so i would like to request minister of planning and minister of board of investment and other colleagues in this hall and who are not here but relevant to this uh, a wonderful initiative that let's join hands and move forward and create a win win position for both chinese businessmen and pakistani businessmen i would like to once again thank the chinese government through our uh, chinese ambassador our friend for uh, very valuable support provided to pakistan in the part china is at one of the last donors towards flood affected people in pakistan china had created air bridge between beijing and islamabad sending very uh important items for uh, flood affected areas like tents and food and medical teams like we're very grateful i didn't know your medical team is operating um, in various parts of uh, flood affected provinces of pakistan thank you very much i'd like to convey my deep sense of gratitude to your uh, hometown people and convey my uh, gratitude to them and sincere thanks it's very kind of you chinese companies chinese individuals have really contributed in a big way and that shows the depth of this friendship the strength of this friendship which is uh, unmatched in fact and i think uh, as uh, the saying goes the time and tide wait for none here is an opportunity to uh, double down our efforts and uh, connect with our chinese uh, business friends and business houses and create uh, a very enabling environment to attract chinese investments export more to china import more to pakistan have more fdis this is what is the need of the r and i think our visit to china 
will be very helpful to accomplish and achieve these targets in a big way. Tomorrow we leave for China and I look forward to uh, my visit to uh, my great friendly country China and uh, this will be my God knows 30th visit or 35th visit I don't know but I remember having visited China for the first time in 1982. You could hardly see a, a car on the roads. Those were the days when you could see in Beijing buses and, and, and bicycles. And today it's a different landscape. Millions and millions of cars running in uh, Chinese cities. And uh, China producing goods and exporting all over the world. 700 million people have come out of poverty line in China. These are great achievements, unheard of under the visionary leadership of President Xi. And I think uh, we need to emulate Chinese models. We need to learn from them and implement here in Pakistan in Latin state. Ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, this is the time. Let's not waste our time because time waits for none. It, it moves on without any, without any second's delay. Let's uh, cash upon this opportunity and God willing, we will be able to achieve our destination one day soon. Thank you very much.